All right, so meal prepping is a big thing. And I was thinking how we can incorporate it into Korean food. So this recipe, sundubu, which is Korean spicy tofu stew, it's always weird, I'm telling you. It just doesn't sound sexy enough to do justice to the flavor. But anyhow, if you make the paste, it'll keep in the refrigerator for months. And all you need to do is break off a couple of tablespoons, put in some tofu. You're going to have a very authentic Korean meal in, in, in less than 10 minutes. If you haven't had this dish before, try it at a restaurant and then uh, you'll feel comfortable with making uh, a lot of it. So let us begin. prep some vegetables so one we're gonna dice these onions just one just make lateral cuts then angle your knife sideways slice through then you can use a rocking chomp one full cup of chopped onions set them aside With the spring onions just chop them into circular pieces and we want to use as much of the white part as possible because that's where the all the, most of the flavor comes from this is one half cup all right and then we have minced pork here and just chop it up once more so now that's one half cup. Next, we need a few more things. One cup of Korean red chili flakes, one fourth cup of salt, three tablespoons of sugar. I mix four tablespoons of vegetable oil with one tablespoon of sesame oil. One third cup of minced garlic. We're gonna put this on a medium high heat, putting the oil in, that in there. Next, we're gonna put in the spring onions. Start dancing and infusing together. So the order of these ingredients are important, so follow along carefully. All right, next we put our minced pork in. I stir it around so they don't clump together, and you wanna break these guys up. Next, we're gonna add in our onions. So we don't want water coming out from the sauce when we keep it in the refrigerator. That means we have to cook off all of the water from the onions. So let them go translucent, and there's not that much water here, right? So most of the liquid is gone. All right, that's when we're gonna put now our garlic in. Garlic mixed through very well. Whoa. Next thing we're gonna add the red Korean chili flakes in. All right, that's gonna take in all of the moisture out of there. Lower the heat a little bit. Guys, then we're gonna add in the salt. We're gonna add in our sugar to balance out that heat. All right, so we'll put this in. And then finally, we wanna add one third cup of soy sauce. Put it in a mixing bowl here. There it is, that's our paste, guys. Part of, the re part of the reason why I'm using mushrooms is I totally forgot to buy some shrimp. So sundubu goes very well with some seafood. You can use oysters or a couple of clams. I'm gonna just use the Korean style, but you can use any pot. Then we'll put a third cup of water. Then just drop in two tablespoons of our sauce. That's one, that's two put in our mushrooms. Then I'm gonna turn on a high heat. While we're waiting for that to boil, let me introduce uh, this tofu. So this is extra soft tofu. In Korean marts, it comes in a cylindrical tube like this, and it's specially made for this stew, uh, but it's extra soft. We'll mix in the sauce a little bit. All right, and once that starts to boil, we're gonna chop this tofu here, and you'll see it's almost like cottage cheese, and we'll just dump them in here. All right, and then just give it a little mix around. All right, you're gonna see it bubbling up like this. And what I like to do for the final shot. All right, we drop in an egg, a lot of spring onions. Give a few shakes of black pepper. That's it. Guys, do you guys hear that sizzling? Then how do you eat this? You get a little bit of the tofu, put it on your rice, mushrooms as well. Guys, and there it is. All right, so guys, you can see me sweating. Actually, when I turn on the air conditioning in this room, it's so loud, so I usually film without it on. I'm dying. This came out really good. My only concern was a little bit ambitious and I made too much of that sauce. So reduce the portions by a third and you'll still have some leftover, and I think you'll be good. 
So a few tips on how to preserve this, because whether you used half portion, a third portion, or use the full amount that I did, um, you're gonna have some left over. So normally I should have Ziploc bags, but I don't. I'm gonna make the most out of it. Use a Ziploc bag. I'm gonna just use this. Pour some of the paste into a bag. What you wanna do is just flatten it out. Once it's frozen, it's gonna be very hard. And if it's too thick, it's too hard to chop. So if it's thin enough, you can break off pieces. And this will keep for up to two, three months. All right, and we'll just throw it in the freezer. 